the devil threatens us with poverty. He tries to make us think that something bad is going to happen and use that to spook us into unrighteous action. And so Allah is telling us about one of the, the ways or one of the approaches that the, the devil uses against us. He tries to play on our imaginations, make us imagine the worst case scenario. And then once we're in that state, it's very easy to provoke us to haste and to action that is not very wise. And then what does Allah say? In the very same part of the Quran, where Allah promises you, what does He promise you? He promises you forgiveness and bounty, right? It's like we say this, people have said this a lot, scarcity mindset, abundance mindset, right? The devil is threatening us with scarcity and Allah Azawajal, is promising us abundance. So some of the times when we get um, in this mode of fixated concern about something and fearing this, and it doesn't just have to be with, with worldly things either. It can be with things that have to do with the religion, right? Maybe, maybe it's not the right time to approach somebody with advice or a certain reminder. Maybe you're not the right person, but there is this kind of um, justification in your head. And this happens to a lot of people who say, well, if I don't tell him right now, then he's going to blame me on the day of judgment. And you don't really know what you're talking about, first of all. Second of all, you're definitely not the right person to approach this other person. Third of all, they're not in a position where you're going to hear it. Does that make sense? That you're going to be held accountable for, approach, for not approaching somebody when approaching them would have been an unwise decision? That doesn't seem apparent to me. It seems to me that the devil doesn't care whether he drags you down to the right or to the left. The devil just wants to make you jump. He's going to threaten you with this and threaten you with that and make you feel like if you don't do this, this bad thing's going to happen. We have to try to be um, a little bit more patient than that and a little composed more composed than that, and to not let ourselves be swayed, but rather to act on principle and insight and foresight.